So, so yeah, yeah, just, just give me some feedback on the uh, the volumes and I'll surely fix that. I guess the game sound may be a bit loud now. Anyway, we are underway with our first quarter final and it's a household uh, debacle here. Uh, Layla going up against her, what is it? What's Uncle. the relation? Uncle. Uncle, that's right. Yeah. It's uh, her father's brother, I believe. So she has been trained by this very person for 15 years? Well, I started in uh, 2010. So I remember her back when she was like 10 or 11. Um, yeah. She first came to CDM, I believe, in 2012. And when she first came, like the first couple of CDMs, she kind of drove around a bit, didn't care about using items, was just generally an easy opponent. And then around 2013, um, Layla started caring about results and obviously Sami had taught her about some item usage and she suddenly became a beast. She kicked it up again. Yeah, and every year since then she's just kind of ramped up a little bit more. I think she's semi-plateaued the last couple of years with being at university. Right. Like she had a massive ramp up like 2013 to 2016, 2017. Like last year, this year, I mean... She's still at a very, very high level, but she's not been keep kicking it up like the extra level every year. Right. But she's been maintaining like a top 10 kind of level of form. Um, but it's understandable. You're at university, you're studying for your career. You know, so Mario Kart well, this is going to be a close one. A bit of a backstage. Oh. And that's Sami. The red dodge from Sami was what uh, sealed the deal here. Okay, so we're being asked if we're inside a cave. Not technically, no. So I'm taking it that there's some kind of echo going on. If we can get some confirmation on that, because I, I feel like I'm hearing both yes to and no to echo. So is the echo coming from me, from Zargoth, from the game sound, from both of us, from everything? Hmm. So it's on the... Um, the audio from us. It's from the mics. I don't know how to fix the mic audio. I have no idea. I always worry about sound issues, sorry. But uh, we'll have to do it after this match, I believe. Yeah, I mean, when I was listening to you talking, it sounded okay to me, but uh, I'm not entirely sure. Wow, bolt for Sammy. The Thunder God is in operation. So, first place with a bot. He's not even going to use it. No, that's just I would use it just before the line. You're but that kind of player, huh? Yeah. I'd, I'd, I'd stop, stop, use it, point, laugh, and then drive over to the finish line. Yeah, seems only fair. Although, if, he, if everybody did that to me today, they got a lightning, I would have had a lot of people laughing at me. Aren't you the saltiest player in the world when it comes to lightning, sir? <laughs> Only when, like, everybody gets them against me. Only then, which is every time. Yeah, pretty much every time I was playing Match Road today. Yeah, right. Sorry with a halfway pipe jump there, it cost him a bit. Joe, I don't think I've ever heard Clock speak poorly of anybody. He's too nice a guy to go around, like, bad-mouthing people. Red's a miss. Second place Ghost is not really what you want. No. Layla just holds on to the banana. Sami takes it. That gives Layla another option at the items. And it's a green. What's Uncle Sami getting? Uncle Sami gets a mushroom. That's not going to be enough at this stage. He's going to be getting something. So I expect to see a long boost over the next item set. Maybe pick up a red at massive speed. That a green? Yep. Oh yes, that's exactly what now happens. He's got and he wins. Speed red, and Layla gets smashed, and Sammy takes the track. Because the best players always get the perfect item for the situation. Well, to be fair, he could have done just as well with the lightning. <laughs> yeah, I know. But like, you knew he was mushroom yeah. into long yeah, boost. Yeah, you knew. Picks up the red. You know like he was never going to get a mushroom. He was never going to get like a banana or oh, a no, green no. shell.
So Rainbow Road, Layla second with a red, but she's out of range. And it's going to be difficult for her to catch Sami, so she's probably going to trade it in for another item as soon as possible. Unfortunately, Sami now has the ghost, and he's just going to sit on that until Layla gets... Even if she gets a feather, I see, he, he'll just sit on the ghost until lap five. There's very little Layla can do from this situation, because... She needs Sami to fall off, essentially. Which is not going to happen. That star, he'll just ignore it. No interest in that. The ghost in first business is so mean. Yeah, because there's nothing Layla can pick up that's going to be of any use to her. Like, even if she gets a feather, Sami will just sit on the ghost until, like, lap five. Yeah, yeah. So she has to cycle through the items, but if she gets anything useful, it's, it's gone. Yeah. So she's basically waiting for someone to make a mistake. Yeah, she needs something to fall off. Which is not a thing that happens. Yeah. Or they were selling. I feel like it's more close than that, but that's yeah. what you get. The better players always seem to have something about them where they always get the item they need. And like that goes was so powerful. Oh yes. Nice banana. That that is usually it on this track. Yeah, short of a lightning, that should be it. This is uh, Godfather Thunderbolt, though. So Layla is talking quite a lot during the match. Yeah, she has been. Does Sammy know the lap five feather? I don't I think that's a thing he's going to go for now. I, well, I think it's his only option. He's holding uh, If he's keeping it, that is what he's going for, of course. Yeah. I, I don't think I've ever seen him hit it. No. It's actually possible to do it without all the um, like long boost, corner hopping, hitting shenanigans. Well, we're doing that. We are trying. That is... Oh, I like the look of that one. He he, um, he hit the first ball too late, so he didn't too late? anywhere near okay. enough to turn around. You can actually do it without all the uh, wall whapping shenanigans, but it's incredibly, incredibly difficult. I was practicing it on emulator, mm -hmm. and I hit it in about one in every hundred attempts. That's good. Just going for it. <laughs> so it's, it's kind of like a Hail Mary. I've heard people talk about it in the match race, and Carol said he's probably at 5% success rate. Yeah, that's using the zipper boost wall banging technique. And uh, Geo said about 30, which seems super high. Yeah, but Geo is probably the cleverest monster there is in terms of weird little interactions and stuff. Layla goes in the hole. And that's what Sami back into the lead. Both have feathers. Actually landed this feather in a uh, match race. I was kind of shocked. You did? Yes. Good on you. Layla uh, makes it back to first, but this is uh, Sam is just chilling with the feather at this moment. So this feather is not free. Like even for very top places, this feather is not free. Well, he's just gonna try to outpace her, right? She goes for the second place item, that might be something though. Oh, a battle of the feathers. And Layla's going for it and Sami's going for Sami again. I always thought you needed to boost to hit that in match race, but you don't. In my head too. If you go at it with four coins, you can get it. In order to get the boost proper though, you kind of have to go around the platform jump. If you do the platform jump, then it's kind of difficult to line the boost up. Yeah. Because it's such a quick wiggle. So is Ouch, this Sammy. Is this 5 or 6 5 1. Five, one. Five, one. Five. I'm really bad at looking at the scores. It's super hard. Layla doesn't drop the uh, banana. No. If you're in first, sometimes you just want to keep it clear. 
All right. And Layla is very, very good at uh, BL2. Like, she can time trial this with the best of them. In fact, probably more consistent than the Selmy, actually. Really? Yes. I never quite witnessed her uh, BL2 prowess. Uh, yeah, she's very, very good. Very consistent at BL2. So if she's got a clear path, I don't see anything catching her. Uh, this has been super solid. Just like one snag or something. Yeah, I mean, that goes for any player in the world. If she's out clear by, by a few seconds, barring some item shenanigans, no one's catching her on that track. Both get the zoom, a bit of viciousness, right. equal, equal, equal. Layla gets ahead with the uh, green shell. But what she can do, she tries to drop onto Sami, Sami mushrooms, but that's... Uh, now we're playing the chase game and Sami gets just a banana. I was figuring ghost. Ooh, red shell. You'd have wanted feather than red or mushroom than red rather than just red. Because she's going to have to get rid of it on this corner. And there's a the feather, and that'll put her back in range. So if she gets a red shell off the next one, yeah, but uh, she still needs help after this. Well, well she's gonna get some no, decent here. It's pretty far from the red range. Uh, it doesn't pick up an item though. I'm going for the right side item. Nice. Feather is not good enough, but it's she's something. Enough to put her in range. Now she's in range of like red shell. Ah, uh, still. Ah, uh, she she's gonna go to for a platform jump. Yeah, she needs to get the platform. Even that's not enough. Oh, I thought she had it. Yeah, it looked good. Match points, sorry. Plural, oh, even. Five of them. Yeah, match point Samis. Yeah, plural Sami, okay, that's interesting. And I think we're, most of the players are happy that there's just the one. I don't see Sami losing speed at all on this track. Too good. But there's all to play for still. Let's keep this hype train going. How are we doing this? Can Layla come back? Can she find a lightning in this item box? And then another one? No. Maybe a backwards red here into the lightning. No. Wow. Nice. Yeah, I GG. don't have the fantasy. Well done. Salmi is our first semi finalist. Layla makes a quarter final in Mattress, though. That's uh, clappable for sure. <laughs> 